In this video, we're going to attempt to factor 108x cubed y squared minus 39x squared y squared plus 3x y squared. In factoring, we have seen many different strategies and tools that we can use to factor an expression. The important thing is knowing which tool to employ at what time. As with any factoring problem, though, the very first thing we should always look for is always starting looking for the greatest common factor. Looking at the expression with 108, 39, and 3, we see the greatest common factor of those numbers is 3. We also see each term has at least x to the first power because we use the lowest exponent. Similarly, Every term also has a y squared on it. Let's see what's left after factoring out the 3xy squared. 108 divided by 3 is 36. x cubed, divide out an x, leaves just x squared. The y squared is all the way out. Minus 39 divided by 3 is 13. x, when one of them comes out, and the y squared, divide it out completely plus 1 x y squared. Be very careful to remember. Be very careful to remember that when we divide out completely, there still is a 1 left over. It does not disappear. All right. Now that we've got the GCF out of there, we decide what to do next based on the number of terms. 1, 2, 3 terms. With three terms, we can factor using the AC method. 36 times 1 is 36, and negative 13 on the bottom. We're looking for numbers that multiply to 36 and add to negative 13. One idea might be 6 times 6 is 36, but that adds to 12, not 13. Hmm. Another idea that multiplies to 36 is 9 times 4. Notice if they are both negative, 36 is negative 9 times negative 4, and when we add them, we get negative 13. We can't use any type of shortcut just plugging these numbers into our factors because the 36 is in front of the x squared. Instead, we will have to use splitting the middle term into the negative 9x and negative 4x, matching the middle term. Negative 9x and negative 4x. The rest of the problem is still the same. 3xy squared times the 36x squared minus 9x minus 4x plus 1. We're now ready to factor by grouping, splitting down the middle. As we do, we'll remember the 3xy squared is still in front of everything. On the left side, we can factor out a 9x, leaving behind 4x minus 1. On the right side, we can factor out a negative 1, leaving behind 4x minus 1. Notice we now have this matching, whoops, binomial of 4x minus 1. With the GCF out front, 3xy squared, times the 4x minus 1, and then the remaining 9x minus 1. And now our expression is completely factored. If we wanted to, we could check this answer as well by multiplying out the binomials and then distributing the 3xy squared through that answer, and we would end up with 108 x cubed y squared minus 39x squared y squared plus 3xy squared. When factoring, we always start with the GCF, and then if there are three terms, we will continue using the AC method.